Hey, this is Eric with Illuminar Lighting, back to you with another video. Today, we're going to talk about our HPS 1000 watt DE fixture. So this HID fixture, which stands for High Intensity Discharge, you can use either a metal halide, which is MH, or an HPS, which is High Pressure Sodium, in this fixture. The standard lamp that comes with this fixture is our Luminar 1000 watt HPS lamp. Uh, you can see the spectrum right there on the end. This has about a 2100 micromore par output, um, which is a great lamp. This is designed specifically for a high mounting, mostly for greenhouse use. And it will give you a nice four x four or five x five pattern, depending on your hanging um, height to the ceiling to the top of your canopy. Mostly this fixture was designed for large greenhouses or very large indoor environments. It's really useful and um, versatile because of that really high hanging height. So you're able to use it in a very kind of diverse area. A lot of very large high, what they call bunker or indoor grows, have high ceilings. So you're able to get these mounted up high and get a really tall canopy growth um, and allow your plants to grow into the actual par density um, is most ideal. This is a dimmable fixture, which you can see on the front right here. You have your dimming knob, so you can actually dim from 600 watts, 750, 825, 1000, and then it has an overclock feature that goes to 1150. Now, a lot of people, when they see that, it's like, oh, it's like turbo mode. Um, actually, this is not that in any way. Um, this is actually a 1,150 watt driver. Um, the only reason it has this switch uh, to go up there is you can actually max out its potential. We run them at 1,000 watts to increase their overall lifespan. That's why this driver and the fixture has a three year warranty with it. It's really well built and long uh, standing uh, durability for an overall HID fixture. And we have really good success rate with this fixture. This is an ETL FCC uh, certified fixture, and it does have a couple other quick little features. All HPS lamps themselves need about a 100 hour burn in before they actually get to their peak performance. And we actually recommend when you get this fixture, you put the lamp inside and you want that to actually be turned on for a straight 100 hours burn-in. That way the fixture will reach its peak performance as soon as you have it over plants. Um, but when this lamp is time to be replaced, a lot of people think all I need to do is then go buy another lamp and put that in. That's not the case. So the lamp itself has lost its output over its lifespan, but also the reflectivity in this specific reflector will lose its overall performance. And it can be up to 10 or 15% dust and dirt. And even when you look under a microscope, you actually see rust forming with all the moisture that's inside of most grow facilities. So what you want to do is as you replace this, you also want to come up here. There's a little pin on the very top and you want to pull this pin straight up and release the reflector. And you want to purchase a new reflector and new lamp at the same time. And this really simply just goes back in and then pull your pin at the top all the way up and it snaps back in nice and secure. It won't fall out on you and then you can install your lamp back in. As we said before, we actually have your dimming switch here, but there's also an EXT uh, feature all the way at the end. That means you're extending it out so you can control it with any type of uh, zero to 10 volt protocol language, meaning uh, your standard touch controller from Illuminar Lighting. There's also several other controllers on the market that you can buy that have a zero to 10 protocol. Um, that essentially will be able to tell the light uh, to either turn off or dim anywhere between um, 50 and 100. Now it is zero to 10, which means uh, it does go all the way down to zero, but an HID actually will not dim any lower than 50% of its output. Uh, the reason for that specifically is an HID is built with a chemistry inside of the emitter, the lamp, that if this doesn't reach a certain temperature or frequency, it actually will not emit light properly and you actually have the lamp fail. So that's why all HID fixtures don't ever dim below 50%. Um, the other thing you'll notice here is our power cord. This is actually a Wyland uh, connection and this is an IP67. So this little connection point 
goes right down here and you actually hear it snap on. Um, this power cord is on here pretty good. I can almost hold the fixture up by it. So if you don't release that little retainer clip, you can't pull the power cord off. You actually just push that in just a little bit and pull up and the power cord will come right off. This has a nice tight water gasket and allows a, a really good seal. There are just a couple ways you can mount this. Uh, specifically one you can hang with rope ratchets. Vast majority of people will do. Um, it comes with two eye bolts. There's one that will actually fasten onto the top right here. And there's another one right here. This will give you a nice little balance hanging. The second option, you can actually remove these eye bolts and you can actually purchase C hangers. A C hanger is specifically designed to going to go over what we call unistrut. Unistrut is a U-shaped channel uh, cable strut and it's used in all different types of buildings. Uh, if you're talking to any of your contractors, they can familiarize if you have unistrut and you'd like to hang from that. It's actually a great solution. It gives a nice secure solid uh, fit and it's actually balanced. So we actually designed the unistrut uh, C hangers to when they fit on here that the fixture is uh, dead square and you're not going to get any tilting or shifting in it. One thing you want to make note is our serial number right here. You don't want to ever take that off. That will invalidate your warranty. If we don't have a serial number on the fixture, we can't ever return a fixture to you. If your fixture for some reason, God forbid, uh, happens to turn off um, or not uh, continue not working uh, for any length of period of time, uh, you might want to first check this LED status light right here which will give you a, a flashing warning. Depending on its frequency and its color, it will typically tell you what's going on, whether you might have a bad lamp connection, uh, hot restrike error, voltage problems, either high or low, um, assorted different things like that will come up. And you can actually click on our website. We're gonna show you a page right here so you can actually see all of the warning signals. Check below in the link. We'll give you a link to where all the LED error codes for the HID fixtures are, and then you can diagnose what the issues uh, might be with it. Once again, always follow your local codes and hire a licensed, insured, and bonded electrician whenever you're doing installs of these commercial fixtures. These are commercial. They do require an extra bit of knowledge to make sure they are hooked up properly, and you do get the full length and quality out of this fixture for its lifetime. So uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to visit our website. You can download our spec sheets or instructions right from there. And that's the whole video on our Illuminar HID DE fixture. Once again, if you like these videos, hit the like button, subscribe, set alerts if you wanna know when our latest videos come out. We really thank you guys for staying all the way to the end. We'll see you in the next video.